Testing, okay. <laughs> having problems with this mic hopefully both sides will come out because I did a recording the other day and only one channel is working it looks like they're both working now okay well I've been off you know I got off the internet for a week uh, I suggest everybody try that seven days without getting on the internet and surfing and doing anything unless you have to do something for like business otherwise take a break and get off the flipping net i had to get on to check one message because a friend of mine is sick she's got breast cancer and i was just checking to see if i got any notices that's it okay um so I'm kind of giving up on writing because I need a drummer and a ba I need I need a drummer to sit down and go to the studio for like a couple hours, just a drummer, somebody that can just do this, the basic, you know, looks to kill beat, and if you can do anything else, you can do a little gallop or a little. I'm not looking for John Bonham, but I wish I could find John Bonham. John, not Jason. Okay, so. You know, I've been going through a lot of crap, and uh, the other day I had this little, the beginnings of this song, it's still not complete, but every time yesterday I picked it up, put it, uh, try to put it down, you know, got it down, get it on video, this is all this is, is to see if I'm progressing or degressing, and those last two videos that I sh did with, uh, I think it was uh, Mr. Crowley soloing over it and the other one. It was horrible I was out of tune and I didn't realize how how far off I had gone just by just getting on here and just it seems like I do the same things a lot you got to get away from that it's a trap that happens if you don't you know try new things but anyways I got this little ditty in my head so yesterday I tried to put it down and the microphone wasn't working it's going down no matter what today, and uh, that's that. Oh, my Schecter died, so I had to pull this out. You know, rearranging guitars because you know can't have them here. So there you go. I'm gonna. Uh, man, it sounds good when I do it right. I just played the two or three parts that I have. It's nothing groundbreaking. It sounds kind of Sabbathy, but. Uh, Hey, it's something, and it might be useful. That's what I always used to do. Everything, I I tape everything, and I pull it out, you know, for later. And so, here we go. This is we'll just call it the Sabbath song. Maybe that's not a good one. Let's call it uh, something. I'll think of something. You name it. So you name it. You somebody, anybody, ten people at least will see this tonight if I post it. So you name this song. I, I can't think of anything. I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm really, I'm just like, zip. <laughs>
See, even there, you know, I started to get off, not get off, off track, off time. I think I switched it. So every time I play it, something new pops in. So it's this is a brand new, this is the embryo of a song. This is the second day of its life. I'm trying to teach, if I can, anybody. How songwriting is, sometimes it's just boom. Sometimes it's just this was going through my head. Actually, the original riff. Was listening to walk the other day and there's that part where you go and he goes view view it's 912 and if you don't do 912 it doesn't sound right and that's such an easy song with such a good groove and that's when I started thinking of. I'm not writing with a groove anymore. So da -da 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 is cool, but I added some notes and brute slide up the last one. And that gave it a little more, oh, that's better. And then when I went down to, all I was doing was just playing this and this and this and this I'm like wait there's got to be a groove there's got to be something so that's why I tried doing the but it'll probably be a be you know little little things to mark like twos fours then you want to keep that because that's what everybody is used to you know the intro is usually a four or a six count four you know bah, 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 for the verse then you go in or the chorus and then the verse is usually four and then the bridge is usually two or four and the solo is depending on the uh, ego of the guitar player. And I tried to get out of solos in the 80s. I hated them because, they're, you know, like the last time we played with uh, my band, I, I refuse to say the name. Any, well, it was Trick or Treat, but we had an idiot singer who has destroyed his career several times. But the last time we, we headlined, we co-headlined, at that third show so the first show was almost sold out first show we ever did and this was a gap this was all our mind from a couple of bands that i'd been in stiletto and one with that trey guy but trey was that was mostly him and his high school friends whatever i'll take any fans i can get and then i started to build my own with stiletto and we toured a lot not toured we played all around Southern California, and that's a lot to do with just a band. Southern California is as big as most states. And we'd hit everywhere from, you know, Ventura down to San Diego, all the way out to the, you know, ocean, desert, everywhere. Any way to take us, I'd play. Fans, fans, trick or treat, third, third band. We got pretty good, but the thing is, is that we were taped for a TV show with Ton Mastery and that blew us up because we were totally different. We weren't it didn't have an idiot with spandex screaming. We were all leather or G string and he was growling. And he would scream, but he would scream like not like anything you heard. And uh, that set us apart, but a co headlined with Michelangelo. That's it was his band. So the whole thing was him doing this and 
you know, this and this. And he's got a wig. I mean, if you're going to get a full wig put on, basically, because, you know, hey, he's, you know, me. Look at it. Am I hiding anything? No. But why pick the Mo Howard of haircuts? Because he is a good guitar player and he's a very nice guy. But I didn't want to go up playing with him, you know, like, we went on first and then he went on. And I just went, well, he's very fast. And that's what I want him to always be is very fast and accurate. But he's very fast and accurate. I'm just fast. And now I'm sloppy because of this. And I've always been a little sloppy. So let's land on like a really fast just shred. And then I will see you in a couple of days. <laughs> Two weeks. Late, bro.